The Exxon Valdez oil spill that occurred over 20 years ago in Prince William Sound has had long and lasting effects on the environment and the research being done to try and understand those effects. One species that has still not recovered from the effects of the oil spill are herring. Hi, this is Alan Marquette for Field Notes, produced by the Prince William Sound Science Center and KCHU Terminal Radio. Over the last few decades, many researchers at the Prince William Sound Science Center in Cordova, Alaska, and other institutions have been doing research on the existing herring population in Prince William Sound to understand why recovery has been slow. Published scientific research relies not only on the data that is collected, but the eventual analysis of the data to help explain what is happening in the study. Analysis and interpretation of the data collected during a research project can have complicated and expensive components that need to be completed before the results can be published. Jennifer Todd, a field biologist and lab technician at the Prince William Sound Science Center, works behind the scenes to process herring samples for Dr. Tom Klein, a biological oceanographer who specializes in food web analysis using stable isotopes. This type of lab work is crucial for providing researchers like Dr. Klein with the information he needs to complete his work. Recently, I visited Jennifer in the lab at the Prince William Sound Science Center where she was processing herring samples. Herring analysis starts with first capturing the herring. Two methods are used to collect herring. For deeper water sampling, a submerged mid-water level gill net is used. The other method for capturing herring near the surface uses a cast net. Once collected, herring samples are frozen for later analysis back at the Science Center's lab. The first step in analyzing the herring after thawing the samples involves measuring the length of each fish which helps determine the age of individual herring. After determining length, the sample is weighed on a very precise scale to determine its wet weight. The wet weight will be later compared to the dry weight once the sample is dehydrated. A critical piece of information to help understand the health and condition of herring being analyzed is to determine its age. Removing the otolith, a part of the inner ear of the herring, and also removing scale samples will help determine whether the herring is less than one year or over one year in age, a critical time for herring development and survival. Once specimens are collected, they are sent off to other researchers for further analysis. After dehydrating for several days or weeks, the dry herring specimen is reweighed and the new weight recorded. The herring is now pulverized in preparation of the final steps in the process. The dried herring sample is pulverized to a powder by placing it in an apparatus called a ball grinder, which uses a stainless steel cup to hold the specimen and a stainless steel ball placed inside with the herring sample. Once the cup, herring sample, and ball are attached securely to the ball grinder, the timer is set for a specified length of time and adjustments made for the cycle or number of oscillations per minute. Once pulverized, the stainless steel container holding the sample is opened and checked. Depending on the amount of oil within the herring's body, the specimen can be a yellowish powdery substance if low in oil, or with higher oil content, the specimen can be dark in color with a paste-like consistency. By this time in the process, the fish sample has gone through several steps of processing and several weeks have lapsed. The pulverized residue, a homogeneous mixture of the entire herring that was left in the stainless steel container, is subsampled and weighed out in tiny thin capsules and sent to a lab in Fairbanks, Alaska, where a stable isotope test is performed which helps determine the health of the herring. Another test to help find the total calories within the sample uses a calorimeter. This type of analysis is similar to the method used in determining the total calories in a given food product and placed on food labels in the grocery store. At this point, the physical preparation and processing is complete to generate the data to determine the quality and health of the herring samples collected. The researcher will use this data along with other information to help determine not only the health of the herring sampled, but also whether it was likely to survive the long and harsh winters within Prince William Sound. For Field Notes, this is Alan Marquette.